Todd at the faceoff dot for Penn State against Wheatfelt. Wings Grant Haas and Ryan O'Connor for Penn State. Cahal Roberts and Kyle Stevenson for Michigan. It's Penn State in the whites, Michigan in the all blues. We're set to go here from Panzer Stadium. And it's underway. It's a clean win for Baldwin. He springs it free. Baldwin off to trainer, steps into one, and scores. Six seconds into it. Unbelievable start, man. Unbelievable start. Colby Baldwin is the more athletic of the two face-off guys for Penn State between him and Chase Mullins, and he has the green light to shoot. That's why the slide comes there from the Michigan defense. He finds Matt Trainer, the team's leading goal scorer. That's his 31st of the season, and it was a bullet. Pen the top right corner. One thing to know about Hunter Taylor, he sits deep on his goal line. So his reaction time, he has more time to react, but it's not the best reaction time in the Big Ten. So he struggles to track balls. Couldn't ask for a better start if you're Penn State. Now Wheatfield gets it back and try to set up for this Michigan offense that is averaging 13.2 goals per game. That's second in the Big Ten behind Penn State. Kyle Stevenson, first shot for him. Shoots the bouncer, it goes. That's one of the easiest ways to beat Frassi, who's the best netminder in the Big Ten. 22nd goal of the season for Ryan Cohen. Faceoff violation against Baldwin. Bo Pedersen has his shot blocked on its way through. Freshman action, but a nice finish there from Layman. Loose ball, Trainer picked up on it. They're gonna call a legal procedure against Trainer, saying he went too early from the restraining box. Oh, that ball was picked up by Cahal Roberts. That's Layman's first goal since the sweet felt shoulders now. He has to give his offense the ball. Clean win here, and he's got space past Baldwin. Wheatfelt tries to dish it off to Bain. It's a loose ball, but Bain will track it down. Recover, but there's a reason why Mikey Bain leads Michigan in all-time points, because he can do things like that every single time he dodges. Baldwin wins the faceoff to end the first quarter, but Mikey Bain, he was held. And as we continue to see Michigan lacrosse age as a program, the team's only going to get better because Michigan's an ideal place for an athlete to go be a student athlete. Wheatfelt with a clean win. Pedersen drops to Tiernan. A close out by Penn State. It feels like here at Panzer because the turf just allows it to explode right back into the net. And especially with the nature of which Taylor plays in net, he's deep in his own crease. Makes it a little tougher to pick up those bouncers. Battle for a ground ball here. Sweeney kicks it free. It'll be Michigan possession, a push called against Penn State. One thing that's talked about every time Taylor's in the cage, computer science and engineering. A bright kid as well. Not only a great lacrosse player, but really hard worker in the classroom. Rondo is a converted attack. Which extends the lead back to two for the Nittany Lions. And if he's a guy that starts to get going both as a feeder and a scorer, it may be game over because he can completely take over a game. We saw it when TJ Malone took over against Yale, had nine points in that game. He's an animal. Loose ground ball. Aldridge smartly lets it go out of bounds as it was last touched by the Wolverines. A quick reset here with Morin. Where each other were, the connect on all kinds of goals, and that's Malone's 25th of the season. Two goals for Malone, separated by 31 seconds. And Penn State now has extended its lead up to three. Michigan looking for an answer. They get the faceoff win. Nice to see Cahal Roberts on the field during that. Beatable down low, that's the easiest spot to get to him because working that stick from up high to down low, when you're that deep in your paint, it's hard to make a save. Trainer has loved to go underhand, low to high so far this season, but he's noticed that against Taylor. That took the penalty. Now a man up opportunity for Michigan. Seeing a change at the faceoff dot for Penn State. We saw Colby Baldwin for all draws so far today, but now it's Chase Mullins. Getting his first crack at it. Wheatfeld has gone nine for 12. Now he's 10 for 13. And this man up for Michigan 
is one of the best in the country, converting it over. No mistake, puts it in the back of the net to extend the lead to four for Penn State, their biggest lead of the day. Penn State has equaled its goal total from a week ago against Johns Hopkins. Wheat felt another win. He's got some room, off to Tiernan. Frassian, are you kidding me? Right on the doorstep. Stonewalls, Tiernan, now number. The board bullseye, as you said it, Matt. Penn State has a five goal lead. Even with the face-off struggles, but Baldwin battling for it here. Wheatfelt gets on it, but he's triple team hounded. Lehman forces a ground ball, but it's picked up by Whitney. Lehman's been all over the field. A drop pass here. Van Wees just able to get to Taylor. They got five seconds to get. Hasn't been successful until that shot right there. And if he gets hot, it could be scary. Face-off violation against Baldwin. A chance for make it, take it with Michigan. Tiernan's 42nd of the season. That's hard. It takes a lot more control of your stick to put that one down low, far side on the run. A little lean action, too, on the shot. First goal of the season for Whitney. Fifth of his career. Sam Sweeney with a nice work with his pole. Gets it to Baldwin. Baldwin's going to take a chance here, and Taylor goes low for the stop. Heads up. Sweeney forces a turnover. Now Kings upfield. Lehman dodging inside. Another stop from Taylor. Still the ball is loose on the carpet. This Fourth goal today for TJ Malone. Sixth point. Baldwin and Wheatfelt going at it. The ball pokes free. And Grant Hawes is on it. He's shoved. Flag flies. He's able to get it up ahead to Baldwin. Penn State sideline is pumped up. That's a juice ground ball. We talk about the majority of the games that the Wolverines played. This year, Coach Connery's been riding Hunter Taylor, who's got the worst save percentage in the Big Ten. So we'll see if Shane Carr eventually makes an appearance in this game. Push right there for Wheatfelt and Penn State consideration. Last chance to play here in the regular season. He's taken full advantage of it. Second goal of the season for him. Baldwin gets called for a kick. Stevenson is not afraid to shoot off these face-offs. Cajal Roberts is Also got to keep Justin Tiernan activated. We've talked about him all game long. He's had a struggle scoring on Frassi, and part of the reason is he's not finding the cage, but he's also not being fed the ball as much as he usually has the opportunity. Penn State's done a good job suffocating the Michigan attack for most of this game, but if they can get the ball to Tiernan, he's going to score one or two more goals here in this fourth quarter. Wheatfelt puts the ball free. Ball last out of bounds off of Wheatfelt. Penn State with quick changes, just looking for that there. And a great finish once again for Matt Costin, who's been one of the most consistent midfielders for Tambroni's team this season. Faze-off guys get tangled up. John King moving the ball free, still loose. King battling, Jack Whitney on it. Calling procedure on TJ Malone, who's actually pushed there. Miss call, but Michigan needs every bounce it can get right now, and they're perfectly fine with that one right there. Down the stretch with Wheatfelt as the faceoff guy. Cohen becomes the first multi-goal scorer for Michigan in this game. Prior to that, it had been six different, different Wolverines that picked up a goal. You have to have someone that really has stood out. Cohen is the only. He's transitioned well. He knows he can beat pretty much every goalie that he plays against. He pins a corner right there. Face-off violation from Colby Baldwin. His third of the half will be a 30-second penalty to start any violation after that. He's another senior getting his last runs here at Panzer Stadium. Seeing those guys trickle on the field. Chris Jordan down at attack. Bond got the ball free. See who comes up with it. Layman on it. Bren Fleck and Chris Jordan playing some attack here for Penn State. Timeout called by Coach Tambroni. And the entire 